Amazing! Your son came up with all of this? He really crafted a lovely fairy tale world for Thelxy. It's like a beautiful dream. But perhaps no beautiful dream can ever last long. You see, the story ended with a twist. to develop his loneliness syndrome? Well, it'd be more accurate to say that it was the syndrome. My poor child can no longer differentiate between imagination and reality. He's begun to see himself as Thelxy. Um, perhaps in his mind, the loneliness he felt became the same as that of a prince who lost everything he ever loved or stood for. What? So that's what you meant by uncontrollable delusions. Then we have to help him snap out of it! Alas, most of the time he acts as if he can no longer sense or interact with the real world at all. I've had several discussions. He once wanted to make a picture book of his imaginary world. But since the disorder progressed too quickly, he never quite got past the first page of the book. If we could use this book as a breakthrough for his condition. Here, you can take a look. Ah, so Zuri's son also saw Thelxy as a- What we should do now is help him complete this picture book. However, we'll lead the story to a different ending. One where the Water Imp Prince is eventually able to restore his kingdom. We'll need to chase away his loneliness and sorrow, and let him perceive a world full of hope again. But if we just need to finish the picture book, why does Remine need to make a Thelxy as well? Because we need to treat the book's story seriously, as if it's a history of things that have really happened. We'll need to go on a journey like Thelxy, and help him regain his crown and country. But... My child can no longer go on a journey of his own. This is why I commissioned Fremine here to craft a Thelxy, and then I'll paint the journey with this Thelxy into the picture book. Ah, like a stand-in for your son! Paimon's starting to get it now! Oh, you really put a lot of thought into this, Zuria. Um, Paimon still has one question, though. Where will we be able to- There are some ruins on the seabed of the Salacia Plains. I've already asked Fremine to research them for me. We'll be able to use one of the ruins as the kingdom. Oh, so we'll just need to act out a performance of, uh... Oh, a brave journey through the kingdom of water imps. As long as we chase away the monsters in the ruins, it'll count as chasing away the monsters in the water imp kingdom, right? Sadly, no. We won't just be putting on a performance. It's just as Zuria said. We need to take this seriously. And the only way we can take this seriously is if we choose to believe everything that's happening is real. Uh, so we'll be playing it straight? Or, uh, making it a fully immersive experience? It's alright. There's no need to get that serious. It's not a big deal. I believe in my son. We can just see this as him wanting to stay asleep for a bit longer because he's so enamored with his dream. <sighs> Zuria. Keep your spirits up, everyone. If we were to look troubled, my son is sure to become anxious as well. Hmm. I should be heading back right about now to check on my son. We temporarily moved to a place on the hill over there, so my son will have a better spot to convalesce. It's not far from the water, and there's also a great view. Feel free to come find me if anything urgent comes up. Understood. There's also one last thing. Since these two friends were able to help me out, I've made some more progress on Thelxy. I estimate that he should be ready sometime tomorrow. That's great news. I must thank you all. Hmm. With that in mind, how about we meet here in two days? All right, everyone. Let's meet again in another two days. Zuria sure is a brave and optimistic lady. Fremine, do you think her 
plan will work out. Uh, let's discuss that over by the tent. There were a few things that I didn't bring up because the...